Daredevil is our true public enemy. According to eyewitnesses, the brutal attack has been carried out by none other than Daredevil. I'm Daredevil. Welcome to Spinner Rock, everybody. We're back in the house. We're talking about the biggest show on Netflix right now, Daredevil. Daredevil season three is in effect, and I gotta say, it's looking good. Once again, I'm here with my boys, Kyle and Petey, and you know, we're gonna definitely hit this up. Let's keep going. <laughs> Colin Petey. Yeah. So we saw the, the panel here for this uh, the opening of this particular um, show, right? Yes. And it was very interesting. Um, they showed, once again, at, in New York Comic Con, we saw Charlie Cox, we saw Vincent D'Onofrio, we saw many of the supporting class the cast, and guess who we also saw? Bullseye. Wait a second. You didn't even let it go. You just like... Well, why, why hold it back, man? Just give them what they want. You well, know? the thing is, is that it seemed like they said that they were going to do Born Again, right? And but they, they already, you know what I'm saying, doing Born Again, they're already, Daredevil's already in a different place from the from the Defenders. Right. So it would only be sort of the back end. So there's a lot of a different way to go than what happened because he's already lost everything. They dropped a building on him. They thought yeah. he was dead, and now he has to come back again. So, you know, so who is he? Is he Daredevil? Is he Matt Murdock? And I think at the very beginning, as we can see in this new episode, he's shown that he is Matt Murdock. I mean, no, he is um, Daredevil. He's giving up the He's Matt the Murdoch. devil of Hell's Kitchen. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Not devil even Daredevil. Is, that's right. Yeah. The devil is here. He's giving up the Matt Murdock personality. You know, he wants everybody, all his friends, Foggy and Karen, to leave him alone. But in the panel, when we were talking about that, yes. we see that, you know, there's going to be a lot of interesting stuff. And one of the things that's going to be interesting is fan favorite, Bullseye. You just said it. What is the hold... The hole was supposed to be on the first time. This is your first spin work episode. You must know, the big business over here loves villains. Okay, Dr. Doom, Lex Luthor, Bullseye, he King loves King. those guys. Okay, he loves those guys. This is the rise, this, this is the rise of the Kingpin, because we left off Kingpin in, seri in, in episode, um, season two, where he's in jail. But we knew that he was gonna come out. And the emphasis of all of this is that he's being, that the, um, the, they threatened his wife, Vanessa. And if there's one thing the Kingpin loves, it is, his wife, his Vanessa. Wife. You can't deal with her, and so now he's getting himself out of jail. I mean, the 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 the, the setup for all how he does this stuff is just off the chain. The action that we saw on the panel. Well, it's one of the things with these Netflix shows is they try to be with the realism. They try to have the realism, and that's one of the worries. Same with, um, I guess, the Dear Devil movie that came out a while back, and what they showed in the action of the the like the basic I guess the first meeting of Daredevil and Bullseye basically goes to the comic and they're trying to play to the I guess you say the the magical elements of comic books because they have I'm just like alright and they say something in the panel to hint where this fight is gonna go so it's like alright the fix is in and then you watch it and it's like no they are doing what Miller did but then they are having that moment, the dynamic between Miller and um, Bill's Eye, which you know who the victor is going to be, but there's something this Daredevil doesn't know about what Bullseye's ability is. This is his first meeting of that, so they play that up, and it definitely goes to the fantasy aspect of a superhero fight. So it's, it w I was really surprised, because a lot of times they like throw that stuff out and say, we got to make this guy believable, so he'll have the scope, and he'll have him in the sights, and he'll never miss that way. And this time... No, <laughs> you know, he can use anything, he can ricochet stuff, he can do a lot of stuff, so it's a lot hey, of... Bullseye's killed, in the comic, he killed somebody with a paper airplane. Yeah. Oh, and you're going to see something like that. So he has perfect, what is yeah. it? He has perfect accuracy with whatever he throws. Mm -hmm. Perfect accuracy. So you're not going to see that in the initial episodes, but you will see that later on. Yeah. You know, I mean, I'm sorry I gave away the, uh, the, the surprise. For of course he did. Ones, what is it? We'll bleep it out. Can I bleep it out? Yes. But I already said all so everything Kyle, I had to believe about everything I said. What's your characterization of Daredevil at this stage in this game now in Netflix? What do you think about they, it? They, okay, they, it's obvious they wanted to do Born Again. Because, well, they did a lo they've done just about all the Miller stuff. 
with the exception of one standalone story and Born Again. And the Miller stuff is the hot stuff. You know, with, with, and I thought they'd done a good job of tapping the Miller stuff, but also having their own story as well. Because that first season was pretty much, you know, this, the kingpin establishing himself, but Daredevil took him out before he got too big. And now we see him come, and we get to see him coming back here. But it, they want to do Born Again, but I think uh, so far as what I'm seeing and from what I've heard a little bit, they're not going to go full tilt with it because Born Again is effectively the last Daredevil story that you can tell before it starts getting a little bit dodgy. But characters, but character, it's Wait, it's effect. Four hundred more episodes after that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> let's let's, keep, going. let's, let's keep, keep going. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Look, the la- I, I say it in the last. Most every comic book, unfortunately, usually has somebody who comes on and they give the guy free reign to do the story that he wants. And then effectively, that is the last story. Everything that you can still have other stories afterwards, but that is pretty much that's the coda to this. And the, the, you have a coda right in the middle of a story that's in serial. So it becomes harder to get away from it. Daredevil, was ne- Daredevil as, a, as a comic was not able to get away from that story, that born again story, for, forever. Okay, it still influences his, com- his storylines to this day. So when I say it's the last story, this was like uh, where comic books are really good at the alpha and omega type stories. The origin in the beginning and then the end. You know, we can do, you know, we can do that first issue and we can do Dark Knight Returns where he's getting out of here. But it's the middle part that a lot of guys have some trouble sustaining. With the series and where he should be at, and I'm liking what I see so far, as much as I've seen, is that he's get he's in that place where he was in the comic where the only thing that was making sense for him in his life was being Daredevil. Okay, he had lost his girlfriend. Uh, He wasn't getting on with Foggy. Law wasn't working out. In the comic, he was sort of like on the verge of a nervous breakdown because he was just having trouble balancing everything at the end of the day. And if they're, you know, when he's going to doing the same stuff over here, like, you know, forget all this stuff. Only thing that remains is, you know, only thing that remains right here is is not even being Daredevil. It's just being the devil. I'm going to go back to the original suit because that made sense because it was really simple. The relationships are difficult. Juggling the relationships are difficult. And then eventually, I mean, uh, and not so much a hero's journey, but more like a hero's struggle at the end of the day. And we get to see him, if you know, we get to see him punch through on this, you know, as we would expect him to do. But that part, this part right so far, I'm looking forward to, with the exception of Foggy Nelson and Karen Page, who have to be the worst friends ever. <coughs> at the end. You know, they have to be the worst friends ever. That's like if I'm over here and I'm like, look, guys, I want to go do this stuff with comics. No! No, don't do it, but I'm no. good at this. No, don't do it! I have, to, I have to correct you because the way it works is this. You do the stuff for comic books. We find out that you did it without telling us. We say you lied. You are in the wrong for lying because that's how every TV show works. Yes. Any lie. So you're totally wrong if you lie at all, even though basically like people go to kids. Kids lie. People lie. It happens. People get over it. So basically you're saying we should go out there and run out there and watch this show because this is one of the... That's ex- what I just said was exactly that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so get out there, check it out. We'll give you further reviews on this. Spinarack, out.